Hello, Cynico here, and today I'm back with another video. Now, this is a draw of me. Um, I'm drawing Canary from Hunter x Hunter, because she's a queen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be a, a mini print on my shop release, which will be actually tomorrow. Uh, if I can get this audio up, this will this video will be posted on September 30th, 2023. Now, please excuse me for my stuffiness. Uh, I have had a cold. I don't want to say a cold, but like, I've been like very congested for the past month. And I'm just now getting medication to help. But uh, yeah, slightly better than before, but still kind of not 100% there. So yeah. Um, yeah, uh, at first I struggled a bit because I had to figure out what I was doing. Now, I haven't been doing warm-ups like I should be doing with my art lately. And yeah, my fault. I'm just like, I don't know. I have to force myself to kind of do it. After work, because uh, I do work a nine to five, five days a week on like a full-time job, right? I get really tired after I come home from work. So I'm like, if I have an idea I want to do, I'm just going to go straight into doing it rather than doing studies, which kind of sucks, right? But, uh, but yeah, um, I, I'm going to do more of these videos where I sit down and talk with you guys because I don't know, like all my like other speed paint videos are nice and all, but yeah, there's a bit of a detachment there. You guys don't really get to figure out who I am as a person or anything like that. Now I used to uh, stream um, often, but I've been on a streaming kind of hiatus uh, by mistake for the past some some X amount of months. So I um, haven't had a chance to sit down and talk with my viewers or followers. So yeah, how are you guys? <laughs> um, other than being sick, I would say I'm pretty okay. I've, I'm kind of going through a quarter life crisis, <laughs> you know? Um, I am trying to figure out what I want to be doing with my life and um, as of right now, I feel like I, I mean, my, my full-time job is a software engineer and I don't know, I don't feel as like satisfied as I thought I would be with that kind of job. And I really just can't see myself working a nine to five forever. I do have like dreams and goals I want to reach and that's not going to be fully done with the nine to five, you know? Um, so yeah, so, which is why I'm adding more products to my shop. I'm doing more product things again and doing what I want. I I would love to be a full time artist, a shop owner. I would love to have courses to teach things. So we'll just see how this goes. I'm going to put all my effort into this and we'll see how it goes. If it fails, it fails. I'll just get back right back up. Um, I, I sound like a motivational speaker right now, but yeah, guys, if you have dreams and goals, don't let anything stop you. Okay. If you want it to become a reality or true, just keep trying. Never give up, okay? Never give up on your dreams. And don't let people tell you your dreams are foolish and dumb, okay? So, uh, <laughs> just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. But yeah, um, let's talk more about my shop and shop relaunch. So, um, um, I decided to kind of switch my kind of shop up. I'm mainly going to be having pixel art as my shop. So like my mascot's going to be pixel art. Most of my stickers, prints, charms are going to be uh, pixel art style. Um, that's more so so I can stand out with all these beautiful or amongst all the beautiful small business art shops in a sense because not as many people have um, pixel art businesses in a st for stationery or anything like that, right? So I just kind of want to stand out. Plus I am a black artist on top of that. So that's like even more <laughs> stand out. I do want to make more um, artworks of black characters or like maybe my, like, in the future, if I make that story I was talking about years ago, maybe my OCs could be, you know, like have some prints of my OCs and stuff like that, which I only have like, one or two official OCs, which, you know, kind of lacking, but, you know, whatever, whatever, character design stuff. But, um, but, um, yeah, 
So mainly pixel art. Um, now I do have a, because it's like Halloween soon, I am releasing Halloween stickers. And all those stickers are non-pixel art, but um, other than that, everything else will be pixel art. Um, I did have some like blue lock art I did some months ago. I finally made that into an actual product, uh, button pins. Um, I actually didn't want to make it like a matte button pins and sell them, but I haven't perfected the art of creating the matte button pins, so we're going to have to do a bit more experimenting and trials with that. Uh, uh, to be coming soon, to be coming soon. Also, if you guys haven't watched my previous video or my shorts, uh, I actually, for the first time ever, ordered stickers from a sticker manufacturer called Sticker Bunnies. Now, if you guys didn't know, like previously when I launched stickers to my uh, site or Etsy, um, I made them at home. So I had a sticker cutter, I used the Silhouette Portrait 3. And, um, and I had a printer, uh, the Canon Pixma IX 6820 at the time, I've upgraded since then, but anyway, <clears throat> I used that to cut out my stickers. But for most of the time I've had the Silhouette Portrait 3, it has been kind of faulty, you know, like it would work sometimes and other times it wouldn't work or it would work, like it'll, it'll see the registration marks, it'll cut, but it'll cut wrong, right? Or like the blade won't, like it'll try to increase the braid uh, depth or size or whatever, force, and it wouldn't actually increase it. So because of that, I've been kind of like, like, oh, you know, <laughs> like, you know, what's the point of like making new stuff if I can't even like make it into like a thing, right? So, uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fool around with this. Let's try a stickier manufacturer for the first time. I did have some samples that I tried. You could check my TikTok for that. I made like a few little short review videos on it. And I tried out Rocking Lucky's, uh, Sticker Buddies, and Sticker Ninja. And um, so all in all, I really liked Sticker Bunnies and Sticker Ninja. So, but Sticker Buddies had a smaller or less of a price. So I started with that and you can have a short amount of stickers or a small amount of stickers that you could order as well so i went with sticker buddies and it came out pretty well but like the matte wasn't as matte as i would like it to be and and the colors were darker than expected but overall it was like really really good really good but i was like man like i was getting stressed out because like i ordered it like maybe a week or a half before um this weekend and I was stressed that it would come on time. I asked them like if they could make the deadline, and they they made it. But it stressed me out, man. Not being able to actually uh, make a design and be able to instantly test it or see how it would look or I don't know, you know, like hand cutting stuff sucks too. And I might have to. Uh, I don't really have to, but I'm gonna probably upgrade to the Caesar Juliet cutting machine because I heard really good things and reviews about it. So that'll probably be my next upgrade. Uh, I didn't upgrade my printer. It is a, a Epson, Epson equal take, uh, equal take, I'm sorry, the, the stuffiness is, is setting in. Uh, it's an equal take 8550. So it can handle like 13 by 19 prints. I don't have to like refill the ink as much as like the Canon Pixma, but I did use off-brand ink for that to save on cost. So yeah, that one would just like run out even when I wasn't using it so uh, much. So, but I still have it. I'm gonna try to sell it if I can. But yeah, it prints out pretty, pretty nice. It has like four different feeder trays where you can put paper in, and it's just. It's a huge upgrade and it's white, so it matches my aesthetic a bit. So very happy about that. So I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I have that and create a lot of products for you guys. I, I realized that I didn't have a lot of products at one time. So I'm gonna try to change that. I'm gonna try to keep constantly adding products over time. So I have a, like a huge catalog of things that could appeal to a wider audience. And maybe, you know, they could look in my store and find something, at least one thing that they like. So. I'm gonna try that. Uh, so yeah, just a lot of like small business aspirations. Um, I obviously can't go full time in this because uh, my, my, I'm very small, like I'm a small artist. 
my shop is small I do a bit more advertising and more social media stuff that actually I really don't like doing <laughs> but it's, it's, it's growing on me slowly though I have to say it is growing on me slowly so uh hopefully I can find an editing style that appeals to a lot of people and it's easier for me to to do more consistently so uh yeah um I don't know about doing any more studio blogs because they take a really long time to edit and on top of that like they don't get as much views or anything like that so I feel like if something's not working on my channel I should just try something new as well I'm trying this job with me stuff so hopefully if you guys like this and listening here <laughs> and listening to me talk then I'll probably do more of it or whatever so yeah uh yeah uh what else is there oh i do kind of want to do some game asset stuff i don't know if you guys would like speed pace on that you know just to well i don't know if you guys heard about it but the, the unity situation uh, i always liked godot more you know like my first game jam was in godot my second one wasn't a good deal because I wasn't really the coder or whatever, but I, I, I really like Godot. It's easier for me to understand how to use it in uh, Unity, so I wasn't really affected by it, but the whole controversy with Unity and the, the percentage of each install, they take money from you or whatever. Um, but I don't know. I've seen Kenny, uh, Kenny, who makes a bunch of game assets, 3D, pixel art, like all kinds of game assets. He was just I don't know he was like a MVP during the whole unity thing like I, I saw his ass I saw how much he helped people I saw how many people were thanking him and like how like great of a guy he was and I already knew he existed but he kind of motivated me I kind of want to do some more pixel uh, art or asset stuff whether it be 3d or anything like that oh speaking of 3d um, I have been practicing 3d lately but it's kind of like slow in the sense of like, like I said, I get tired after work. I only have so many hours before I have to go back to sleep and go back to work again. So, um, um, I've been very slowly practicing 3D art. Um, I'm gonna try to finish up my first model actually today. Hopefully, fingers crossed today. It'll be a miracle, but like, fingers crossed, man, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah. Um, let's talk about some upcoming stuff for my shop so i want to do more uh fan art of course and it'll be cool to do some original art kind of things as well so i don't know guys look forward to that uh i think i'm gonna do maybe like dang and rumpa is on the roster of like some button pins i think they'll look so cute and also one piece so one piece dang and rumpa hunter x hunter and maybe like some shoujo stuff like i was a, i'm a huge shoujo anime watcher or was one i'm still one in my like in my heart but i have not been watching them a, a much lately but when i was younger i used to watch it all the time that was all i watched i didn't watch any like sad like or depressing anime or action-packed i mean maybe like death note but <laughs> but uh yeah so I definitely want to do some like some some more fan art, some more prints, stickers of like some of the OG Sojo animes or High School Host Club, um, uh, Special A, Toradora, like like stuff like that, right? So yeah, please look forward to that, guys. Please look forward to that because I'm kind of I'm pretty excited to do that. Uh, once I get like a sketch in my mind on it, I'll probably you know act on it. So yeah yeah so anyway i guess i'll just stop talking here i feel like i'm rambling a little bit but thank you guys if you got this far uh, thank you so much for listening to me talk <laughs> um yeah i think the next draw with me video will be more about like my career and how that's going and like what you know more about my future then yeah this one was just more of an overview on everything kind of like made me a little update or something like that so yeah guys uh thanks for watching if you got this far please leave a green heart in the comment section <laughs> below because green is my favorite color <laughs> but 
But yeah, anyway, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Cynical out. <laughs>